And we got a touchdown! Oh no! <laughs> What up, what up, you guys, and welcome back. Wolf said the engineer here, and this is Kerbal Massive Engineer. In today's episode, I want to build something epic, something that has been never done before by me. So today we are back into the space plane hangar, and I want to build an MSTO. Let's see who, how will that work. Okay, so after hours of massive engineering, I come up with this. Now the idea is to build a multi-stage to orbit. Uh, each of those stages has to be only for a specific part. Let's start from the beginning. We got a solid rocket booster, this for the takeoff stage. So they will provide us with a quite a push for us to take off. And this is the remaining of the plane. Now the last segment we got here has two turbo ramjet engine and two Raber engine to take us up in flight up to 12 kilometer. And then we're gonna dump the stage and go with these stages. This stage should be able to give us a boost to achieve a semi-orbit or let's say a suborbital flight to reach approximately 1500 delta V at this um, in the exposphere in space. And then we're gonna use this small engine, the LV-909 to have a stable orbit and then deorbit the airplane. Once we did deorbit the airplane we're gonna come back with this part and this will be the last part where the plane will land by itself. I got a Raber engine here and some liquid fuel. So in case we landed somewhere else, we can still recover the airplane. This one has a cargo bay. We got as well a so uh, solar panel. These tiny little things, just in case we need some more power in space. Now a small notice here, each of these stages are recoverable. This one here has a drone core. So if we decided to return this stage safely, we can. This one, same apply. It's actually able to land in the water, but let's see how will it that go. Let's launch it. All right, there we are in the runway. Captain Jebediah Kerman has requested permission to take off from the tower and we are launching in three, two, one, go. Okay, that was a quite a push, but this is not enough. Oh, I forgot the engine. So we decouple these and shit blows up all right so we lost part of the wing that was iffy okay we're still going the center of the weight is in the back so the plane is automatically taking off okay and lift up at 80 meter per second so apparently we are rolling a little bit to the left because we don't have enough wings to keep the plane stable i'm gonna do my best to fly it although it's crippled i have faith in my design you better work, otherwise we're gonna throw Jebediah Kerman up in the water. Now, a fair notice while we're at it, I will be posting this one in uh, Kerbal X. Link will be in the description be uh, below, or you can click uh, Jebediah Kerman to download the craft. However, make sure you install um, Kerbin, Kerbal, Kerbish, Kerbush. All right, Kerbin Joint Reinforcement. Otherwise, this one, uh, well, you can do some thrust manually. Okay, there we go. On a second thought though, I, I think I forgot something. I forgot makeshift, so apparently I will have to fly this plane manually. We are reaching supersonic velocity at 2 km. Now I'm gonna skip forward until we start the last burn. Okay, now we have reached our optimum velocity. This plane was pain in the ass to control because the wing is missing as you can see. Now we're starting our uh, acceleration while having a look at Kerbin. And here's a screenshot. So, now we need to achieve at least uh, 1000 meter or 1200 meter per second before we decouple the stage and then send it back to Kerbin. So, we are almost ready. Almost. We are reaching 800 meter per second. We are going at full power 18 kilometer and we started gaining some altitude. Uh, the plane is a little bit shivery. I love the new mod they got. The, this uh, effect here is by engine lightning. It gives the engine some lightning. And speaking of lightning, I think I forgot to add lights to the flight. So when we reach space, it's going to be total dark. So we have reached 1000 meter per second. We started to lose altitude, but that's OK. We got some extra fuel there, just in case something like this has happened, because you know me. I'm the clumsy engineer and uh, 
Well, out of the fear of overburning, I would say let's dump the stage because we are not able to control the flight. The flight is going a little bit up and right. All right, we're decoupling in three, two, one. Jeb, you better catch it. And I've made a mistake. I forgot to turn off the engine. <laughs> okay, go, 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 go. Woo! Well, that stage has been in pieces. <laughs> okay, so... Um, Side note for the engineer here, turn off the engine before you decouple. Alright, there we go, burning through the atmosphere, we have reached the speed of uh, Mach 5, 1300 meter per second, and we are climbing at approximately 100 meter per second. Our goal is to have a suborbital flight with this stage, and the orbit will be done sensibly by the 909 LV engine. The reason for that is because this engine has a better specific impulse than this one. This one got only uh, 320 tops, while this one has 345. Okay, so we are coming out of the atmosphere right now. We're still having an issue with overheating, but we are more or less safe, I would say. And look at that, the Earth is dark. And here you can see the future probes which we got in the test flight which has crashed dramatically this was an overkill this engine is more than capable of taking us to orbit and back uh, i'm gonna try to smooth out the orbit by going 45 degree downward or 45 degree from our heading downward um, we are still going super fast which is bad so we are all right we finished decoupled the stage this airplane should be capable of going back home by in its own Meanwhile, I'll try to fix our orbit because uh, our Apo Ops is going by 300 km, which is more than what we need. Um, I'm planning for 100 km because the entry will be butched, otherwise we might kind of die. Alright, so after a lot of fine tuning, I have managed to bring back my uh, Apo Ops to at least 300 km, and our Peri Ops is... Uh, 375 so now we are gonna burn in the retrograde to slow ourselves down don't worry we are not gonna bounce back to the atmosphere however i think it would be fair enough to fine-tune our re-entry from now i want to re-enter from the desert so we're gonna need to bring our apple ups to approximately this point here and there we go all right so now we speed forward let's see Kerbin from the dark side. Dark side of Kerbin. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, I cannot see anything, but I do love the view from Earth coming up from the sun. This is because of the lovely mods we got installed. So now for the last stage, um, this one here should have a parachute and it should land by its own. So we are going to decouple it. Uh, we do have a re-entry at 48 km. I'm saying that's okay. It's not the best re-entry, but it will do. So now we got to get rid of this stage. We don't need it. But just to be careful, I'm gonna dump it downward so it would not crush us on the way down. Alright, there we go. Thank you RV909, you've done your job very, very well. Now, Captain Jabadaya, I'm counting on you to bring us back to Kerbin in one piece. <laughs> oh, I'm kidding, you're gonna probably die. Alright, so we're having a re-entry, pitching forward to 20 degree. And we are going smooth. The nose cone is getting heated up. Overexcited about the fact that we actually made it so far in one piece. And we're heading back to Kerbin, apparently... Oh god. Kerbin is still far, far away, so um, I think the airport, the uh, runway is at the MSTO Kerbin probe, which was a test flight for the first probe we had to land, and we landed safely in the water. Now, Captain Jabadaya Kerbin is a little bit shaky at the moment, as he is aware that chances are not in his favor. Now, we got 180 point of liquid fuel left in this tank for the Raber engine, to kind of get us somewhere but as it seems I cannot see where we are 
And I do know for a fact that this is not the runway because this flight has crashed in the mountain earlier. Okay, so we are going in hot. We are going in hot. Pull up, pull up, pull up. Captain Jebediah, you do not want to die. Okay, so we have breached the uh, Mach 5. Well, we are going at a hyper velocity. We are coming back in and through my expertise, I can tell we have no idea where we're heading. It's pitch black. Okay, well, I can see the mountain behind me. I have bad news for you, buddy. Captain Jebediah Kerman, you have overshoot your landing. Please turn around. Alright, we're pulling up 10 G's trying to get home. We are up at uh, 20 km. With the current velocity we got and the current altitude we got, we have a chance of gliding for 3 km. But after that, God knows. Now, thankfully, we got the Raber engine to start up our day. This is by far the least efficient engine which should I have replaced. But then I thought, what the hell, it would work. Okay, so we are coming back and I can see pieces over there. I would say that's the runway for sure because we have kind of clipped our wing down there and we destroyed it. So there is debris. Exactly where the debris is, there should be the runway. So we're gonna go back a little bit down. I cannot see where we're gonna land but just in case we got the landing gears down and this landing gear does have lights let's hope for the best okay in pitch black in total darkness i look up in the horizon and i see light that's of course the runway we are getting kerbal uh, we are getting jebediah kerman back home so we got to fix our uh, alignment with the runway aka that's gonna be a butched uh, landing let's hope for a soft touchdown because captain jebediah kerman is not feeling well after all okay so we're going at full power we're reaching supersonic velocity and we're still far far away now we're going at a uh, hundred meter per second i would say let's give the engine a little bit ramp up to one third i can see the water this debris here is the debris from the solid rocket booster which we had earlier this debris here for a failed test flight to land back at Kerbin, but that was the uh, early stage of the airplane. Now there will be some bonus footage at the end of the video, you can check it out for this return landing. Okay, now we're coming in with the runway, holy shit, this is a bad idea, and we aligned it perfectly. Now that's what I call some flying skill. Alright, we're coming in, smooth. Engines off. Flare, flare, flare. Come on, Jebediah Kerman. And touchdown and bounce back. And touch and bounce. And gears down for the end of the flight. And that's it, Captain Jebediah Kerman. Congratulations, you have been graduated from the MSTO test flight. You have made it back in one piece. Now Captain Jeb has, is very happy and excited to come back to Kerbin. He leaving the runway and he's just running home. Hopefully this airplane wouldn't blow. Okay, take two. Now what I'm trying to do in this take is to return the stage back home. So we are at 20 km, engines off. And this time I'm going to kill Captain Jebediah by literally leaving him alone. So now we're gonna... Um, Pitch down a little bit, roll to the left, engines are off and we're gonna try to turn around and bring this airplane or whatever left of it back to the runway. Let's try my massive engineering level. And while we're at it, Captain Jebediah Kerman, enjoy your landing. <laughs> You're gonna land in one piece, don't worry. I have tested this, Jebediah. Okay, now on a second thought though, I think... I just need to pay close attention to our uh, electric charge because if we run out of electric power we will be screwed. Now this engine should be more than enough to give us enough electric power while we're at it. And uh, full power ahead, head for the runway, whoa! Okay this, this 
is not exactly easy to control as you might think it is. Holy shit, we're going at supersonic velocity, hypersonic velocity. We just pulled 15G turn. And where is the runway? On our left. Um, the airplane has some tendency of rolling while it's trying to yaw. And that's because these flaps or these uh, fins are not designed for a small aircraft. They're designed for the whole train. So if you're testing this, uh, don't do that at home. And while we're at it, by the way, once again, I will be posting this aircraft on Kerbal X. Feel free to download it. The fair warning though, use Kerbal Joint Reinforcement. Otherwise, apply some strap struts to it. Okay, so we're going in one third. We're gonna try our best to align ourselves with the runway because, well, this airplane does not have the best turning capability, if you wanna call it an airplane. It looked like a delta wing. Just a little bit bigger. Alright, we're going in hot. Uh, this is more than enough. I think it's about time now we lean downward, start our dive and line up with the runway. Alright, there we go. Final approach. Gears down. Airspeed is 100 meter per second and I see some debris on the runway. Let's hope we will not crash into that. Um, actually, we're running low on speed. Let's give ourselves a little push. Now this one should be able to glide easily, but never risk it. So we're coming in at uh, 200 meter per second, which is obviously by all means the maximum speed for any commercial airliner to land. And uh, there is a debris on the runway. That's bad. Okay. Air brake is on. Lights are up. And we have to pass the debris. <laughs> no, no, no. Don't touch. Don't touch. Holy shit, something flew up and touchdown, bounce again, we forgot to flare and we are running out of air miles, come on, come on, flare, 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 okay, touch, touchdown, touchdown and we got a touchdown, oh no, <laughs> okay, well that was fast, <laughs> hello Kraken. Oh, look at that! I have summoned the Kraken once again. Beautiful. Alright, as usual, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy today's video. And don't forget to slap that like button if you did. The, cra the craft file is linked in the description below if you want to download it and give it a go. Alright, as usual, thank you guys for watching once again. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to slap that like button. And until next time, stay tuned!